सो चिल्ड्रेन टुडे वी हैव टू स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंथ ऑफ एक्सरसाइज इलेवन पॉइंट फोर सो लेट्स डू इट इट इज जस्ट लाइक क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स अ लिटल डिफरेंस इज देर ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट थ्रू अ रेक्टेंगुलर फील्ड ऑफ लेंथ नाइन्टी मीटर्स एंड ब्रेथ सिक्सटी मीटर्स सो अ रेक्टेंगुलर फील्ड whose length is given 90 breadth is given 60 two roads are construct constructed which are parallel to the sides so two roads are constructed which are parallel to the sides means parallel to these sides one should must be parallel to the side one must be parallel to the length side and cut each other so it is the same way and they both cut each other at right angles okay children please make a use a ruler and make the roads and cut each other at right angles through the center of the field here yeah, center of the field please assume it it's the center of the field if the width of each road is 3 meters means this portion is 3 meters children this portion is 3 meters find the area covered by the roads so we have to find this area covered by the two roads and also cost of constructing the roads at the rate of rupees 10 per meter okay so we will start so first thing we find the area of this road then we find the area of this road but when we find the area of this road we see that this is a common portion so we remove it how by finding the area of this square portion whose each side is already given that it is 3 meters 3 meters you remember we did it in uh, question number 6 also we remove the the square whose each side is 3 meters okay and then we find the total area of the two roads okay that's it this much is done then we have to find the cost of construction of this area so we don't have to find the area of this field because it is not asked but we have to find the area of these two roads but then if we don't have to find the area of this field children then why this length and breadth is given as 90 and 60 because these sides are parallel to the sides of the roads right so they will be equivalent so if this is 90 the length of this road will be 90 this is 60 the length parallel to this uh, the length of this road which is parallel to the breadth of the field will be 60 okay so this is the reason why the dimensions of the field is given okay so all the entire inspection for the question is over okay like what is the use of 3 meters what is the use of 90 meters what is the use of 60 meters what we have to do in the entire question everything we have sorted now we have to solve it okay so the first thing we will see what is given what is given 1 2 3 okay what we have to find we have to find the area of the two roads okay so let's start so we start with the given what is given 90 meters and 60 meters so 90 meters is given for this road correct so we start writing about this road so what are we going to write length of the road parallel to the length of the field okay length of the road 
parallel to the length of the field that is 90 then breadth of the road which is actually the width How much? 3 meters. Now we find the area of the road. Area of road which is equal to length into breadth which is equal to 90 meters into 3 meters. 3 zeros are 0, 3 nines are 27 meter square. So this is the area of this road. Now we find the area of, area of this road. So for this we will have to write what is given now? 60 meters. So we will write length of the road which is parallel to the breadth or you can write width anything. Width or breadth. Breadth of the field. Okay. So let's write. Parallel to the either you write breadth or you write width. Which is equal to 60 meters. Then we write width of the road. Like this we can write. Which is equal to 3 meter only. Because both the roads are 3 meters wide. So now we write the area. It is given by length into breadth. That is 60 meters into 3 meters. 180 meter square. Okay. Now. We have to find the total area now. We will have to uh, find the total area that is this area plus this area but we see that this area is common so we remove from one side okay from any one area so now we for that we need to know the area of the common portion also so separately we find the area of the common portion which is equal to side into side which is equal to 3 meters into 3 meters which is equal to 9 meter square. Okay, 3 threes are 9. Now we need to find the total area of the cross section. Either you write cross section or cross roads or total area of the two roads. Okay. Which is equal to Total area of the roads is equal to or you write, no, you will write this here. So, here you write, let's see what is asked in the question. Find the area of the roads, na? Area covered by the roads. So, we just write area of, area covered by the roads. Area covered by the roads is equal to total area of two roads minus area of common portion. So, area of two roads means what are the area? So, 270 meter square plus 180 meter square minus 9 meter square. Four fifty meter square minus 9 meter square which is equal to 441 meter square. 50 minus minus 41. Okay. So 441 meter square. Okay. Now children. 
This is the first part of the question. Now there is one more part of the question. That is the cost of construction. So let's see that. So let me read the next part of the question. The B part of the question. Find the cost, find the area of, uh, covered by the roads and find the cost of constructing the roads at the rate of rupees 110 per meter square. So per meter square means 1 meter square. So for 1 meter square rupees 110. For 1 meter square the cost of construction is rupees 110. So for 441 meter square what will be the cost of construction? Very simple. For 1 is given many is asked. So when many is asked what we do? We multiply. Right? So here 110 into 441. One more method is there. Okay, the same thing. See, I'll show you here. This is unknown. Write it as x. Now cross multiply. So 1 into x gives you x. And this gives you 110 into 441. See, we will multiply. Okay. So, what we will do? We will multiply. So, either of the two uh, ways, children, you can remember. This so you don't have to remember also. This is so simple. Here, we know that one is given many is asked. So, we multiply. This we are studying since our childhood. Okay. So, any of the two things you don't have to remember. But any of the two things you can apply. Okay. So, we write what is given. What is given? The, uh, the cost of construction. Cost of construction of 1 meter square of road, which is road A, this is A, which is rupees 110. Cost of construction of 441 meter square of road which is equal to 110 into 441 then we multiply 441 sorry 441 by 110 0 441 again 441 so this is rupees 48,510 and this completes your question. Okay, so complete your work till here.